Hello guys, welcome to this new section of the channel where I will be suggesting you each time one manga together with a very quick review of it so you won't get bored. On this very first episode we will talk about a very underrated manga that is probably one of my favorite reads ever and that manga is Koko no Hito, also called in English The Climber. This manga follows the story about a very lonely and quiet student called Moribuntaru who is a person willing to risk a lot in order to achieve his goals as an amateur climber. On this story we follow this young man and his road to chase his dreams as a climber. And guys, don't think that for this description we are listening to another average sports manga, because there's more behind this story that makes it different from the rest. At first it feels a bit generic maybe, but as the story develops further ahead it gets more and more close to a psychological thriller that is something that really helps the main character to become an even more interesting character since he's very quiet and reserved. We can get to know about his personal struggles, his ambitions, his mentality and more, and all those things with the use of an incredibly realistic art is what makes the atmosphere of this manga feel different from many other stories that are way more focused focus in the dialogue. About the art, I'm not kidding but I really had to take my time and stop at some point just to enjoy watching the beautiful panels of the manga. They are pure art. And now let me show you some examples of these panels that don't really spoil the story, but I think that they're incredible. And about what I said before that the manga got better and better after each episode, it probably happened because they changed the writers, because on the first volumes of the manga they had other writers from volume 1 until volume 4 I think. It was written by Yoshio Naveta and Hiroshi Takano, and from volume 5 and onwards is that Shinichi Sakamoto made the art and the story at the same time for this amazing manga. So that's why people always say that they don't really like the story in the beginning, and it suddenly got better and better after each read. And if you think that the story feels weird at some points and too generical, well, let me tell you to be patient and wait because when you reach the parts that Sakamoto wrote, you will see the difference, and it's a huge difference. And if the name of Sakamoto sounds familiar to you, maybe it's because you know about the manga Innocent, that is amazing too, and it's writing and illustrated by Sakamoto also. By the way, the story of Koko no Hito is based on a real story of a climber called Kato Buntaro, a Japanese climber from the beginning of the 20th century. So the story itself is based on this real person and following Buntaro and his journey as a climber I think is one of the best experiences that I had reading a manga. It kind of reminds me when I watched the Revenant movie a few years ago and I remember just being amazed at the beautiful landscapes from that movie. And it doesn't really need a lot of dialogue because you join this journey and you feel that you're a part of it because of how you see everything just flowing naturally by the art. We just watch Hugh Glass just trying to avenge his dead son while being speechless for most of the series because he, I think he got hurt in the throat by a bear no? and he couldn't speak but I think that detail of the silence and just showing you the places that the guy has to go through every time is what makes the movie feel like a real journey and I think it's the same formula that this manga has and it's other reason of why I enjoy it so much. So if you're tired of those sports manga that are like I'm gonna train and be the best of the world, I'm gonna beat everyone, I'm gonna be this, uh, then you should seriously, you should seriously just search now on Google or try to buy something on Amazon or whatever. Just find Coco no Hito and give it a try. You will enjoy this psychological thriller. And if you don't like it, you can come here and just leave a dislike to me as a punishment, you know. <laughs> And this is my very first recommendation for this series, so stay tuned to my channel because more and more manga suggestions are about to come. And as I always say guys, thank you and see you soon.